Hello friends, welcome to my channel Clinical Biochemistry with Dr. P.K. Prabhakar. Today we are going to see the difference between NAD and NADH uh, as well as NADP plus and NADPH. So uh, first let us see the full form of uh, these four uh, different uh, abbreviations. So NAD plus is the uh, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide which is the oxi oxidized form and NADH is the reduced form of the NAD plus that is the nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide it's reduced form because it is having one hydrogen. Similarly NADP plus is the phosphorylated uh, NAD that is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate which is oxidized form and again reduced form is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate that is NADPH. So if you'll see uh, this is NAD the basic uh, simple difference is NAD or NADH is normally used during the cellular respiration process uh, during glycolysis Krebs cycle these are the two major uh, processes where NAD NADH is going to utilize going to involve so uh, it normally gives us the ATP through the oxidative phosphorylation and when we are going to talk about NADPH this is normally going to use it uh, during the photosynthesis process and generated in the uh, we, uh, one of the R process that is called pentose phosphate phosphate. Uh, so it used, mainly used in the Calvin cycle for assimilation of carbon dioxide. Uh, so uh, if you'll see this NAD plus which is the oxidized form this is going to be reduced uh, by adding uh, taking two electron and one uh, proton. So it converted to NADH. Uh, so during glycolysis and Krebs cycle this is going to happen. Similarly, at the same time, NADP plus is going to be reduced and gives us NADPH during Calvin cycle of photosynthesis and pentose phosphate pathway. So basically, if you see the structure of uh, these two, uh, this uh, NADH is the compromise uh, composed of two nucleotides, the adenine, ribose uh, sugar and a nicotinamide ring. So if you see here, this is the ribose sugar, this is one ribose sugar and this is the second ribose sugar. This is NAD plus and this is NADH. So this is the reduced form. If you see the basic difference at this place, so it is having one extra. So this is the place where reduction occurs. So this is uh, two ribose sugar. This is the adenine and the, this is nicotinamide ring. ring. So these two uh, nico uh, nucleotides are going to be joined together uh, through the diphosphate, uh, two phosphate uh, molecules. At the same time, this is uh, mainly this is uh, this NADH, NAD plus H or NADPH is working as an electron ca hydrogen carrier and electron carrier in the oxidation reduction reactions. So the basic difference between NAD and NADPH is uh, one extra phosphate group at the uh, this place. So in this case, uh, this uh, two prime uh, OH is going to be phosphorylated. Their phosphate group will be added. So that is the difference between NAD and NADP or NADH and NADPH. What is the main function of, uh, so that is the uh, structural differences, so hope you have a structural differences where uh, NAD, NADH is the oxidized form, NAD plus is the oxidized form, NADH is the reduced form uh, because at this place oxidation reduction occurs. NAD plus does not have an additional phosphate group which NADPH is having and NADPH is having an extra phosphate group at the second prime uh, position of the ribose sugar. If you'll see their function and role in, of NADH in the cellular metabolic processes, so three important places they are going to be utilized. First, energy production. NADH plays a crucial role in the transferring electron to the electron transport chain, contributing for the ATP synthesis during oxidative phosphorylation. Uh, so in oxidative phosphorylation, NADH is involved in the oxidative phosphorylation, uh, which produces the maximum ATP in case of aerobic conditions. Whenever we are going to utilize oxygen for the ATP production, that time, through this electron transport chain oxidative phosphorylation takes place and in there NADH going to give maximum ATP we are going to have. And third an important function uh, this NADH is involved in the catabolic reactions uh, working as a carrier of a reduce, uh, reducing equivalent in the catabolic reactions support the metabolic processes. So three important things NAD plus primarily in functions in the catabolic process which involves the breakdown of carbohydrate, fats, proteins into a smaller units. Second, another, it acts as an electron carrier accepting electron and becoming the reduced to NADH and that reduced form is going to use during the electron transport chains in the oxid through oxidative phosphorylation and generates the ATP. So these are the three important functions of NADH in our body. 
At the same time, if you'll see the function of NADPH in the cellular functions, again, biosynthesis. So NADPH is crucial for biosynthetic reactions such as the lipid synthesis, nucleic acid synthesis. Uh, then antioxidant defense, NADPH is essential for the regeneration of many of the antioxidant molecules in our body like glutathione, uh, glutathione uh, molecules, reduced form and oxidized form, uh, protecting cells from the oxidative stress. And third, energy metabolic process, metabolism. NADPH plays a significant role in the energy production and the regulation of metabolic processes. To summarize it, NAD plus DP plus functions predominantly in the anabolic reactions, which are biosynthetic processes such as they build the larger molecules from the smaller ones. It acts as a reducing agent, providing the necessary electron to uh, for these biosynthetic reactions. Another function is antioxidant functions. NADPH is essential for the regeneration of antioxidants such as glutathione and plays a uh, critical role or significant role uh, for protection of our different cell cell organelles it also used during the phagocytes in the oxidative burst and last it is going to involve in the cellular processes a reaction uh, which generates the nadh so there are many reactions which generates the nad uh, h from the nad plus but two important uh, processes that is grape glycolysis and Krebs cycle. If you see in the glycolysis, we are having the process uh, where uh, glycerol layer 3 phosphate dehydrogenase. So NAD plus is going to be converted to NADH. That is one reaction. And in the Krebs cycle, if you see, uh, we are having isocyanate converted to uh, alpha ketoglutrates. So one is this where NAD plus converted to NADH. Then alpha ketoglutrate converted to succinyl coenzyme A there NAD plus converted to NADH and then we are having malate dehydrogenase where malate is converted to oxyalocitrate. Other than that one there are a number of other uh, processes also there where uh, this NAD plus converted to NADP plus sorry NADH. Similarly uh, reactions which produces NADPH if you will see uh, the Krebs cycle uh, in two important processes one is during the pentose phosphate pathway uh, where it converts the independence, which is also called as a hexose monophosphate sunt or uh, different other names, we are having this uh, EMT pathway. This process normally converts glucose 6 phosphate to ribulose 5 phosphate, carbon dioxide, and NADPH. In this uh, pentose phosphate pathway, whole pentose phosphate pathway, you can divide into two major blocks. One is called as oxidative phase, where V produces NADPH. And the second phase, second part of the reaction, which is called a non-oxidative synthesis, there normally we produce 5 carbon sugar. So the two important product of this PPP pentose phosphate pathway are NADPH and 5 carbon sugar. So one is during the oxidative phase, second one is during the non-oxidative phase. Uh, second uh, important reaction is NADP plus dependent malate enzymes uh, during the gluconeogenesis process. So in some organism, NADPH is also produced uh, through the action of NADPH dependent malate, de uh, malate dehydrogenase that is also called as malic enzymes. If you see this pathway, in this pathway, isocitrate is converted to alpha kilobutrate, which we have seen during the previous uh, slides also, where I have told you it gives us NADH. So um, this is isocitrate converted to NA alpha ketoglutrate. So there uh, we can uh, assume that it can use both NAD plus uh, or NADP also. So it has a flexibility. So we are having two, uh, this isocytate dehydrogen is in both mitochondrial. So this is IDH2 is mitochondrial and IDH1 is cytoplasmic. So we are having both cytoplasmic uh, conversion also and mitochondrial conversion also. So this is one process where we convert NAD plus P plus into NADPH. And second one is uh, mallet is converted to pyruvic acid during the gluconeogenesis process. So there we use NADP plus and convert into NADP plus. So three important reactions where we can generate uh, this NADPH. One is pentose phosphate pathway. Second one is this mallet dehydrogenase, malic enzyme. And third one is isocyte dehydrogenase. But we consume at many places. So summarize. Uh, summary of this whole process, NAD and NADH differences, DPH differences. NADH is used during the cellular uh, respiration that is called catabolic reactions. Uh, NADPH is normally used during the anabolic reaction, synthetic reactions. NADD plus is reduced form of NADH and NADP plus is reduced form of NADPH.
uh, it is oxidized to form NAD plus it is oxidized to form NADP plus uh, involved in cellular respiration cellular catabolic processes uh, this normally process involves in the photosynthesis in case of uh, plants in case of animals it is involved in the uh, synthetic reactions uh, or antioxidant reactions uh, this produces glycolysis Krebs cycle and it is going to be used during the light reaction of the photosynthesis uh, both uh, normally helps in the electron transport so this NADH produces, uh, do the electron transport for ATP productions uh, this normally for the assimilation of carbon dioxide phosphate group it does not contain any free phosphate group this contains a free phosphate group linked at the renin moiety at the second prime position of the ribose sugar uh, this NADH normally involved in anabolic reaction this NADP is involved in the catabolic reactions and NAD plus is the most abundant form uh, found compared to NADH and NADPH is the most abundant form found in the cells so this is the major dif basic difference between NADH and NADPH as well as NAD plus and NADP plus Hope you have understand it. If you have any query, any comments, you can write in the comment box. So thank you very much. Uh, you can follow my channels uh, on different uh, on social media, different social media platforms. If you have any comments, you can write in the comment box. It will help us to improve our content as well as your requirement. We will understand. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.